Hey everyone, my name is Stream, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a mod for Minecraft. Don't believe me? Yeah, neither do I. But I'm going to try and teach you, so let's go. Just before I start the video, I'd just like to say that this tutorial will not work if the mod you're trying to install is a Forge or Mod Loader mod. So basically, if the mod page doesn't say anything about Forge or Mod Loader, then this tutorial will probably work for you. Trust me, I'm a doctor. However, if you're trying to install a Forge or Mod Loader mod, then I'll put an annotation right now to a video showing you how to do that. You know, unless I'm lazy or something like that. I'm probably going to be lazy, aren't I? Now that that is out of the way, welcome to my generic Windows desktop. It's almost as generic as my commentary. Oh great. The first thing you want to do is open up your favourite internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome because YouTube is owned by Google, and I kind of don't want them knocking on my door again for mentioning another web browser like Internet Explorer or Firefox. Oh no, that's Google! We gave you one chance not to mention those browsers. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mention them. I, I love I love Google Chrome. I, I love Google Plus. Oh man, I love Google Plus. Alright, we'll let you off the hook this one last time. But if you do it again, You'll regret it. Oh man, that was close. After opening Google Chrome, navigate to the page containing the mod you want to install. I'm using the Rainbow XP mod for this tutorial, because that's my mod and self-promotion. Download my mod. On the mod page, find the download link, click it, and download the mod to somewhere you'll remember. For convenience, I saved mine to my desktop. The next thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher. Then click edit, and on the window that pops up, click on open game directory. This should open up the .minecraft folder. From here, just double click on versions. In this folder, find the folder that corresponds to the version of Minecraft your mod is for, and rename the folder to something else that you will remember. My mod's for 1.7.4, so I renamed the folder to 1.7.4.2, cause I'm rebellious like that. Now double click on the newly renamed folder. Rename the .jar file to the name of the folder, and do the same thing to the JSON file. Now right click on the JSON file, which is the file that doesn't have the coffee mug on it, like the other one, and then click edit. In this file, you should see something that says quotation mark ID quotation mark colon space quotation mark the version of Minecraft you're using quotation mark. Like the other files, change the version of Minecraft to whatever you called your folder, making sure to leave the quotation marks in, because it's naughty if you don't. Now save the file and exit out of notepad or whatever else you had open. What we want to do now is open up the .jar file. To do this, we're going to have you use an archiver program like BandyZip or WinRAR. If you don't have an archiver program like one of the ones I've mentioned, there are links in the description to download one, because you're going to need it. I'm using BandyZip, so all I have to do to open the file is right click on the file and choose Preview Archive. A window should pop up. Just put this to the side and open up the mod you downloaded with the same program. Or a different program if you're hipster like that. Now what you want to do is select all the contents of the mod file. To do this, you can use a few methods including Control plus A, Shift plus clicking with your mouse, or the amazing Draw a Box game. Now click and drag the selected items into the Minecraft.jar window that should be open on the other side of the screen if you followed my tutorial correctly. Now in this same window, find the folder that's called MetaInf and delete it, because no one likes it. Now close the .jar window and also the mod window. Now, just go back to your Minecraft launcher and click the button that says New Profile. In the window that pops up, just change the profile name to something different, like... The Golden Cup of Stew is never coming out so everyone just get over it. I named it after my dog, if you couldn't guess. Leave everything else as default and go down to where it says Version. Click on the drop down menu and select the name that's what you called your folder you made a few hours ago. Or minutes ago, depending on how slow you are. Now click Save Profile, then select the new profile from the drop down menu, and hit play. If you did everything like I told you, you should be playing with the Rainbow XP mod. Or whatever other mod you installed, you jerk. Download my mod. 